Hey Thunder Allies, hope you're doing great today. Um, on today's video I wanted to show you our lab here at Thunder Allies. So this is our bank of flow hoods right here. Um, all HEPA filters that we custom made and in the back there's uh, this connection and then a nice blower um, going into it. And we have this pre-filter that's easy to change out. Um, that we just get from Home Depot and cut in half. So um, these are our flow hoods. It's, it's four two by two flow hoods. Um, and then these are the pressure cookers that we use for making all of our grain and sawdust spawn. Um, so we run these pressure cookers uh, usually for about two hours at 15 PSI um, to make our spawn. So uh, we run them and then, you know, this is kind of what they look like. We can fit six total bags in these um, pressure cookers. Um, they're the 75X uh, from um, all, all Americans. And what we're doing with this is steam sterilizing so that we end up with a clean substrate. So I took one of these bags out and you can see we have a rye grain here. We also use millet. Um, so we sell both rye and millet sterilized bags. And the sterilized bags, we sell them just blank, sealed, uh, with and without injection ports. So you can get an injection port and use any sort of liquid culture with a syringe to uh, inoculate these bags, or um, you can get them just sealed and cut them open and inoculate and reseal. Um, so this is the, the sterile substrate. Um, you know, these are rye and they've been cooked uh, so that all the bacteria and fungal spores and every, anything else that's in them is completely dead. Um, so we simply take these out and then seal them with our uh, hand sealer. Um, so this is our hand sealer. It's an automatic impulse sealer. So um, it's magnetic. So you just push it down and uh, it holds and, and makes a nice seal. So this is the type of thing that you get for uh, substrate. And the grain in particular is great when you're going right from liquid culture or when you're trying to expand out from a petri plate or something. Um, sawdust is better when you already have grain and you're trying to expand that out into a fruiting um, um, medium. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about our lab, uh, our setup. Feel free to ask any questions if you have any questions around how we did it or what we're doing and um, how things are looking and definitely check out our website fungially.com to see some of the uh, products that we're offering the spawn and sterilized substrate and that sort of stuff have a great day